dropping now. Yeah, I know. So where are you at? Oh well, I was trapped in traffic actually, yeah. but it's it's cleared off now. The road marshals worked on it. You know how crazy it can be in this town, yeah. This traffic is something else. <sighs> yeah, but I'm home now, so don't worry. Just like yeah, I know. Don't worry. Just keep coming. Oh yeah, sure. Um, barring another traffic situation, I should be home in the next. Um, 10 to 12, 15 minutes. Great. So what are you doing, baby? Tell me. I just go upstairs and change, then get dinner ready. <laughs> no, <laughs> I love you much, baby. See you soon now. Yeah. Get my leave my gate open. What? <sighs> All right. Vamos. Vamos.
Suffered temporary loss of sight due to the substance sprayed in her eyes. What about the pregnancy? She lost it. Different for 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 different
How much I love Ella and how much I am willing to cater and protect her, even if it means me putting my life on the line. Alright? So, what happened to my wife is much more painful to me. Just like it is to every other person who appreciates what Ella stands for. So, you walking into my office this moment with these erratic accusations will not do it. Alright? This is not the best way to talk to a man whose wife is dealing with so much right now. A man whose wife almost lost her life. A man whose wife almost lost her pregnancy. And is on the verge of losing her sanity. So please, sir. Don't make me get this way right now. Oh my God. Was Ella pregnant? Yes, she was. Ella was carrying her first child when she was brutally raped by those, those goons. So if you really still want to talk, so you can sit down. to be beat with her. Please don't get her what's up. The doctor says she needs rest. Please. I don't want her to be disturbed. It's okay. I won't be long, don't worry. Sorry. I'm 
so sorry, honey. Alright, son. The drugs will take her through the next three hours. I will have to report back to the hospital. I'll be back once it's close time for my work. Alright, thank you very much. You've been um, you've been quite helpful, I must say. Thank you. You're welcome. Quite helpful, I must say. Thank you very much. Alright, bye. Sorry, madam. I understand the trauma you're passing through. But uh, we need those answers to help us track the people behind the attack. Madam, can you remember what happened that day? Can you remember anything, anything at all? Sorry, madam, but uh, we need to do some. I really don't think this is a good time, all right? So, if you don't mind, can we please reschedule? Oh, yes, ma'am. No. Detective, are you still there? Right here, madam. You have to find them. Detective, you need to find them. Find them, those, those bastards. Those idiots that laid their filthy hands on me and my innocent child. You have to find them. You need to find them, detective. If not for anything for my innocent baby. John, tell him. You will find them. Tell him to find them. Tell him to find them what they did to me. You know, how baby. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him to find them. He needs to find them.
but as regards the people who broke into my home, attacked and raped my wife. What, what is going on? Look, Detective, I don't want to begin to think that you guys are not competent enough to handle this case. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What would you have me say? All right, for how long would I have to sit back and wait for you guys to come through us as regards proper information? Don't talk to me about being agitated. I'm a very agitated man right now, all right? It is my wife that was attacked and raped, and I lost her own child in the process, and you're telling me about being agitated? What are you talking about? Well, Detective, as much as you claim to be doing your job and taking your time, I'm not going to sit back here forever. I'm not going to be back to you. All right? I know that this time is running out. We need to do something fast. I need to know the people behind that act. Well, yeah, as soon as we can uh, ascertain that, then we can, we can get to work. take it easy and she also needs a lot of rest but if she must move then she has to make use of the crushes oh that's my wife you're talking about right great um but apart from what you just said do we need to get her more, more medication oh, not at all no she's okay just the way she is yeah all right thank you I mean, you've been far too kind thank you so very much okay especially for having to agree to stay here with us for a couple of days Thank you. Um, can I have the file from the Purple Ribbon Entertainment people for their bid? Uh, when did this come in? Yesterday. What time yesterday? Um, John. What time you about it? John. Hey, what's that? What am I hearing? You can go back to your office. I'll go through this and I'll let you know. All right. Thank you very much. It's what I'm hearing true. <laughs> what can I say? But well, we're dealing with it. This is serious. So, what's the police saying about this? The police? <laughs> uh, promises. Still investigating. You know, you know the society we live in. Right, um, but um, we'll be fine, I guess. <sighs> These guys, you can never really count on them, can you? So, uh, how are they Ella doing? Um, fine, I must say she's still grappling with um, the trauma, but I'm hoping that in time she would, you know, beat it, you know, Ella is a strong woman, so I'm positive. Poor soul, I can sit here and I can only imagine what she's going through right now. It's been, it's been something as well, um, we thank God, we thank God. So, um. How was Cyril on? How was, um, how was the beat? Well, that, the beating went well. You know, it's just that um, the foreign office in Sierra Leone actually demanded an extra fund. Oh, okay. You know, so I could complete the contract bid. And that's why I came, you know, hoping that you could help me with some fun you know, to complete it. Come on, Nusa. Come on. <laughs> I mean, given what just happened, really. <laughs> Come on, you know that's not possible. You know, I mean, not at this point. 
I hope you do understand. Yeah. Yeah, I I understand what you're going through right now. Yeah, and even Ella who is in the middle of all of this is not um is not in the right frame of mind, you know, to even make an impute. If you understand again what I'm talking about, so it's my hands are tied. I understand. And that itself for me is my worry. Knowing that Ella was in charge can't do anything and you know, it's fine. Oh well, but I believe you're a shrewd businessman, so something would certainly come up and uh, you would um you would get through this one again, you know. But along the line, if there's any way I can help, why not? What are friends for? I will surely help you. Okay? Yeah. I was setting out a few things before you walked in, but now that you're here I'm thinking lunch, are you game? Yeah, sure, sure, why not? Lunch. All right. Date me on the activities at the company. Oh, sure. Well, um... She has refused to eat all since this afternoon. After the barrister left, I took the food to her several times, but she she no one to eat. The barrister was here today. Yes, sir. So why then has she refused to eat? Sammy, I, mean, I don't know. I took the food to her. All right, uh, microwave the food and take this to my study. I'll just pick up her instead. Be back. I am lonely. Can't you see? I am lonely. I've been caught up on the reality of this world. I can't see anything. I'm here for you. I will always be here for you. Please. I promise you. I will be here for you for the rest of our days. I give you my word on that one. Will your assurance take away the fact that I am now blind? Will you take away the fact that I am totally useless? Will you take away the fact that I can no longer do anything for myself? Will you take away the fact that I might not be able to see the world the same way again? I know, darling. Stand. 
But will you be like this? <laughs> Fix this for us. Huh? And will your doubt and the love that I have for you heal you? No, it won't. It will not. Baby. I am here. Will always be here. I am your husband and I love you. Update me on the activities at the company. Okay, great. So, are you impressed? I don't know. I just wish I could make use of my eyes, you know, so I can do things myself. Soon, darling. Alright? Soon, you will. I promise you. Anita. Yes, ma'am. Take me upstairs to the room. Crutches, ma'am. Take me to the room. Yes, ma'am. I, I don't need it. What, you, you think I'm crippled now? No, 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 ma'am. I can do without that. Please just take me to the room. Managing director of the company, your immediate boss, and must be addressed so. The fact that my daughter, your CEO, is now incapacitated does not mean we should not maintain order and decorum around here. Did I make myself clear? Okay, okay, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Now, I want you to organize a meeting of all the managerial staff in the next 30 minutes. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm sorry, MD. Is the meeting that important? Will you shut up? I gave you an instruction. Your duty is to carry out my instructions and not to ask me silly questions. Is the meeting that important?
you can no longer see? Hey. God, why? 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 Hmm. Hmm. Oh. It's really bad and very sad that something happened to my sister and no one deemed it necessary to inform me about it. I had to find out about it in the papers. Well, that's, um, that's also coming as a shock to me because your father was pretty much around when it happened. So I had assumed that he would uh, maybe pick up the phone and call me and tell you about it. But uh, it is what it is. Well, he didn't. Anyways, that's all in the past now. What's very important now is the involvement of the police in all this. Have they arrested anyone yet? Not at all. It's been quite disappointing to know that um, the police are yet to step up their game on this case. But what can I say? It speaks of the kind of society we live in. Something must be done about it. I mean, my sister cannot be left in such a, a hopeless state and the corporates out there free. No. In fact, I think you have failed to step up your game. Yes. Fred Abebe. Okay, I didn't know, sir. I'll let her know that you're here, sir. Okay. He said it's your father that he wants to see you. Oh, well, bring him up. Okay, ma'am. Madam, is here, ma'am. Right, it's me. I know you've been wondering why I've not come to see you since you came back from the hospital. Daddy, please don't give me any excuses, okay? But why? Because I don't need it. What difference would it make anyway? Sweetie, I am so sorry if I did hurt your feelings. I'm sorry. Daddy, it's not about you or anybody hurting my feelings. It's about my hopelessness. I am no longer relevant to myself or people around me. Sweetie, if you sound this way, why then do you have me? You? Yes, me. And a whole lot of other people who loves you. Of course, Ella. You are still relevant to all of us. Ella. Yes, Dad. I came to discuss a very important issue with you. What is it? It's about the company's affairs. 
You see, I'm considering that based on your present situation as the CEO of the company. Someone close to you should stand in for you and then carry out all the functions as though. Wow. Who do we have here? Girl, is that you? Yes, yeah, me, of course. Hi, Dad. Hi. I didn't know you would be back so soon. Dad and I are in the middle of a very important discussion, and I think you should be part of it. Okay. What's up, Dad?
been calling, no one seems to be around. Are you serious? Anita! around this house, don't you? What kind of person are you? I think... I can't believe this. You mean you've been in this house all this while and I've been calling? I, th I think I've I slept off. You know how much of a deep sleeper I am. Sorry. Anita, why did you leave this house without informing me? Um, uh, 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 Madam, um, Auntie Gail sent me to... I, to like, I, yeah, yeah, I wasn't asking you! Even if Anita had to run errand for you, she has to tell me first. She's under my authority as far as this house is concerned. Anita is accountable to no one else but me. Me! Okay. Understood. Anita. Yes, ma'am. You have a lot of things to say, but not now. John, please take care. say that darling I don't know but this issue of her leaving the house without letting me know is it's putting me on the edge darling you shouldn't be that way even your sister Gail admitted to having sent her out to no even at that I still do not trust that story darling are you for any reason worried about your safety yes I am I'm worried. I, in fact, I think we should have security details around the house. Oh, come on. So that, look, it has a... <laughs> Darling, it hasn't come to that, all right? Don't get yourself walked up. You're fine, you're safe, okay? There's nothing wrong here. There's nothing happening here. Listen to me. I don't want you to blow this thing out of proportion. It's nothing. I'm always here, you know? No, John, you're not always at home. Presence is not enough convention for me not to distrust my surroundings. Why would you say that? What do you mean? I don't trust anyone else apart from you. Not even my sister. Sadly, you sent her. Honestly, I'm actually surprised. Why the insistence? I ran out of makeup stuff, so I sent her to get some from the supermarket for me. I don't understand what's wrong with that. Gail, please don't get this wrong, alright? 
I expect you to understand your sister's psychological and emotional position right now. Given what has happened in the past few weeks, you know she would react if she just wakes up and then looks around and this girl who is meant to be by her side at all times just suddenly gets up and go without any kind of information. That's my point. Alright? She is answerable to someone. She, she just can't get up and go. Anita. Try as much as you can to be careful in this house. That way you don't trigger the wrong signals. Yes, sir. Do you understand me? Yes. So, as your boss said, be very careful around the house, especially with the things you say. Am I clear? Yes. Did he see it? No. Did he see the phone? Mm -mm. Are you sure? Yes. appears too quiet for my comfort so I decided to go out and find you oh look at you darling you know I wouldn't sleep if I don't see you first if I don't speak with you if I don't kiss you mm -hmm. Hmm? you know I will always stop by here first mm -hmm. yeah. what time is it um it's um I think past midnight really late I want you to take me to our room Is there a special reason for that? No, no reason. I just want you to take me to our bedroom. Okay. All right then. I'll just lead you. All right.
I want you to touch me like you used to. Make me feel like we still belong together. Help me kill this pain. It's eating me up. Makes my heart beat. Munya Moma. Oh, Kenny. What is it? You know, I don't like it when you get like this. It breaks my heart. Ella, listen to me. If there was something I could do within my power to make you feel the way you used to, darling, I would do it. Uh -huh. I know. But realizing the fact that life can never be the same again makes it seem so dark and lonely for Anna, me. please, don't talk like that, okay? Don't talk that way. I don't agree with you. That's not true. I know you don't like it when I sound this way. But it's the truth. Life can never be the same again. Can't you see? I'll perpetually remain in this dark prison for the rest of my days. Who knows, someday you might get tired and move on with your life. I don't agree with you, baby. You never say that again to me. I don't agree with you. Where is your faith? Where is, where is that conviction in what you and I believe in? Remember the vow we took on the altar the day we got married? Maybe it was for better for us. Alright? To be together. Till death. Now that's the that's the depth of the belief that I have in what you and I have going. I love you. Honey, I love you with every part of me. I'm not going nowhere. Do you hear me? I love you more. Okay. I want you to know, right here and now, that I will always. 
always be by your side. Because you're the center of my world. You're my wife. My everything. Okay? For as long as I am with you, nothing else matters. Nothing else. Because I love you that much. sister is gradually overcoming her emotional stress. <laughs> well, if that's how you see it. <laughs> okay. But I tell you what, it's not um, been easy. Really? Mm -hmm. What am I missing? I see you want details, yeah? Yeah. Alright, never have to because I'm running late for work as it is. Okay. No problem. Where is she though? Is she still in the room? Absolutely. Okay. Um, just um, but um, I need her to clear the space. Alright. Alright. I'm off. Okay, have a great day. Alright, I'll use it now. That I went to my madame's room and she's not there. I don't know if she went somewhere. I thought so too. But she's okay. Okay, everything is fine. Just clear the place. Clear the place. I checked up on you earlier on and John told me you slept here last night. <laughs> uh, hey, um, I bought you some tea. Uh, um, where is um, Anita? Downstairs doing her chores. I want that girl out of this house. Why? Nothing. I just want her out. Like, she's no longer necessary in the house. At least you are here now and no need keeping a stranger whom you're not even sure of. Ella, don't you think you're allowing your emotions to overcloud your judgment? Girl, this is my house. Anita is a personal aide and domestic staff under my authority. And I have every right to say what I want and what I don't want. And Anita, at this moment, is one thing I don't want around my house. Do you understand? It's okay. I understand. Okay? Calm down. You don't need to get yourself all worked up over this. All right? Um, anyway, here's your tea. 
By the way, have you spoken to John about Dad's proposition yet? No. But why? Ella, you need someone who's going to handle the affairs of the company since you're- Girl, I have not deemed it fit to consider that proposition. Till I speak with my lawyer. That idea will have to be stayed till then. For now, I don't want to talk any further. I want to be left alone. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to bother you any further. You don't need all that stress. Okay? Um, so, here's your tea. Thank I, you. Yeah? It's hot. Careful. Uh -huh. Yeah, I added extra honey in it for, you know, to help calm your nerves. All right? Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <clears throat> And she need to allow someone else to step in and coordinate the affairs of the company for the moment. Don't you understand? No, I don't understand because my I wife never mentioned this to me. Because my wife is here to discuss this with me and it's really, really fresh. I guess she's still skeptical about the idea. And that is why I've come here to sensitize you as a husband on the need for her to allow someone in the family, especially me, her father to step in as her proxy is in her own best interest and for the interest of the entire family. I see. But what I do not understand is how my wife will possibly, or should I say readily, allow anyone else handle the affairs of this company when the office of the barrister is already undertaking that function at the moment. It, it doesn't add up. Barrister Mildred, is just a bloody lawyer who knows little or nothing about the managerial procedures involving handling big establishment like ours. She doesn't. Think about it. Absolutely, darling. Yes, I heard you. I told your father Okay, that as a matter of fact, that before you take such decisions, first off, you would have to consult your attorney. John, please, I don't need to see my attorney for anything. And no one should go and see her on my behalf. As a matter of fact, I need to have a board meeting at the company. Can you please inform Paul, my admin manager, about the meeting? John, are you still there? <laughs> Really, I don't know what the game is. I don't know what his plans are, but um, I believe you can handle it. I trust you that much. Is everything all right, darling? Huh? Darling. What is it? Please take me downstairs to the garden. I want to sit out for a while. Oh, are you? You don't want to stay here? 
I just need some fresh air. All right, uh, well, um, why not? If it makes you happy. Okay, so let's, um, What are you doing here? Anita? Yes, ma'am. Which Anita? Where is she? What is she doing here? Darling, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Easy now. Easy. Easy. Don't just stand there. You come and help. John, what are you doing? I told you I don't want this girl in my house again. Anita! Weren't you told your services are no longer needed? Okay, fine. In case you don't know, I don't want you in my house again. And I want you to leave here in the next five minutes. Um, sweetheart, calm down, alright? She can't leave now. It's really late. She can't okay, leave. fine. Then she should leave first thing in the morning. Uh, um, Ella. Who? Girl, please, just stay out of this. John. Easy now. Easy. Calm down, all right? What is she doing here? Don't worry. It will be sorted out. Calm down. Don't upset yourself. I don't want her coming left. All right. You I don't to want me. her to touch me. She won't touch you. All right. I'm holding you. To the left, to the left, to the left. Easy now. Yeah. I, I don't want her to touch me. She won't touch you. I'm not you. Good. Just skip straight. Right, please get hold of your emotions. Okay, you really have to. Please, I'm scared. I'm scared. There's really no need to be scared, okay? I am here for you. Look, I will always be here for you. I love you that much. Stop crying, I beg you. Please. I want to speak with Pastor Mildred. thing in the morning and you can talk to her all you want. You can move. 
He's dying. Stop crying. Please. You know you break my heart when you get like this. Huh? Please, baby. Darling. I will call her. Come what on. difference does it make? Plenty. It will make a lot of difference, darling. It will. Because I'm here with you. We'll always be here for you. Alright? You need to sleep. Sure you don't know Ella's fiance. I'm quite sure I've never met him before. How are you, young man? 
I'm very well, sir. Thank you. Quite a handsome young man you've got there, Ella. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I trust my daughter. <laughs> she have a good eye. Okay. Anyway. Ah, yes, that's true. <clears throat> what was that girl? Well, it's obvious all the attention is on Ella and her fiancé, and I'm getting none. You people, you're all so mean. Oh. Don't be jealous. Hmm? I'm not jealous. Don't worry. Your own time will soon come. You don't have to be jealous, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, sir. Um... Sir, the reason we're here is to uh, let you know that uh, we've picked a date for our wedding, right? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, sir. At last. <laughs> I'm so happy, my child. Thank you. Just mention anywhere in the world you want to have your honeymoon. You will have it. Thank you so <laughs> much. Thank I you. I trust my mom. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Go and get your husband something. I know you know the way. Anything nice. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, I love you. be here for you. I shouldn't be here, but I couldn't help it. You cannot help it. What, what's wrong? Is everything all right? What's the matter, girl? It's my sister. And I hate me. She doesn't like me. She doesn't appreciate my presence in this house. Anything I do for her, she doesn't like it. She doesn't appreciate me. When, when I cook for her, she doesn't eat my food. When I go to, to sit with her and, and just to keep her company, she doesn't even appreciate it. She doesn't like me. She hates me. She hates me. Miguel. Your sister doesn't hate you. Alright? She loves you. But look, that woman is going through a tough time right now. She's going through a difficult phase in her life and if you ask me, I think that we as the people around her 
need to show her a great deal of support and understanding. Do you understand? She doesn't make me understand that. She doesn't. You don't understand. She hates me. I can feel it. She, she doesn't like me. I, I think I should just go back, pack my things and just go back to the States. No. Hasn't come to that. All right. Your sister loves you and look, we want you here. We don't want you to leave. No. Your family, remember? Yes. We want you here. We need you here. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay. okay? Okay. We want you here. And I mean, especially me. I mean, your, your presence here has really helped, you know. We're lifting some of the burden, but it's okay. Okay. Don't, 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 don't be like this now. All right? Mm. Okay? Okay. Great, so, I need you to go back to your room. You're also pushing me away. You're sending me away. I'm You're... not pushing you away. I just feel it's later you should be in your room. All right, as regards what we talked about, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I'll speak to Ella on your behalf. But things will be fine. I promise you, in time, the both of you would click again. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, what was that for? Why did you do that? Come on, John. What are you afraid of? Am I not woman enough? Who is that? It's me, um, Anita. What are you doing here? I didn't call you, did I? No, no, ma. I'm sorry. You didn't call me. But... I feel like I owe you as a duty something before I go. What? Are you here to hurt me because I asked you to leave my house? No. No, ma. Ah, me, I cannot hurt you. In fact, you have been very good to me since I started working for you. And because I've been noticing some things in this house, I decided to come and tell you. Sir, you be careful. What are you talking about? You've been noticing what? Oga hmm. John and your sister Auntie Gail, I've been noticing them together. What about them? The other night, I saw Auntie Gail coming out from Oga's room. You know, Oga's room is upstairs and Auntie Gail's room is downstairs. Me, I thought it was somehow. Do you think she's sleeping with my husband? Ah, madam. <laughs> that one, me, I don't know. But because of what I've been noticing, I thought it was strange. And I said I should come and tell you before I go. Anita, madam. you have to stick with me. I want to trust you this once. Go and get your things. You're spending the night here with me. We have a lot to do at dawn. <clears throat> okay, ma. This to my sister, what, what, what is this? What is going on here? Why couldn't I resist her temptation? What? Not there, she's nowhere to be found. 
Even Anita, Anita is not in the house. Will you just stop writing and get to the point? What do you mean, Elisa? It's not the Ella house. Ella and Anita are not in the house. They are nowhere to be found. What are you talking about? I, I don't know. Get off me. 